Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today, I want to share with you my initial impressions of a braided line from Hytena USA called Pure Line. And this is their 63 pound variant. Uh, just to give you an idea why I have this stuff, I ordered about $75 worth of rod wrapping thread and some tuna terminal tackle from HytenaUSA.com. And they were gracious enough to send me a sample spool of their 63 pound test Pure Line, which is a 12 strand braid. This color is gray. Uh, and right off the bat, you can tell by the coloration of my fingers uh, that the, the dye used, the pigment used, uh, will leach off the dye, off the, off the braid. And uh, it's kind of like going back in time to the you know, original Power Pro days and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, with that being said, it, it's a wiry braid when new. I don't know how much it's going to break in, but that's not a bad thing. It has a lot of body to it. It's a very tightly woven braid. Hopefully it stays that way and doesn't loosen up and turn ropey, which I don't expect it to. I have experience with the Hytena Silky, which is a 16 carrier braid. And the red dye or the red pigment that they use on it, same thing happened, leaches off just like this. And uh, when I was spooling this line up, I noticed it was very buzzy. Not Power Pro buzzy, but close. Think Suffix Performance braid. I wasn't even using a, a rod to spool it up. I was just going reel to reel. And uh, yeah, so here's my first cast. Scorpion MGL, brake set to two, sorry, brake set to three with two pins on. And take a listen. Fouled up on some grass. And this is a boo Booyah's version of a chatterbait. So it's a Booyah chatterbait. I think it weighs about a half ounce, five eighths of an ounce with a Kitech trailer. Whole payload probably weighs, eh, we'll say under three quarters. Cast very nicely, but again, it's a bait caster. You get through a hundred pound braid on it, it'll flow off the reel cleanly. Even if it's wiry, as long as your payload's heavy enough to take it, uh, take it the distance, it should have no problems coming off the line cleanly. Definitely buzzy. Generally speaking, when you go up in carriers from four to six to eight to 12, or in Berkeley's case, nine, uh, the higher number you go, the quieter it is. <laughs> Can't say that's the case with the Hytena products, even with their Silky. The 16 strand Silky is kind of buzzy. And you can definitely feel, see if I can rub it on the frame of my camera. Hopefully that gets picked up by the mic it it's not a smooth braid at all whatsoever I mean going like this you definitely feel every ridge it feels like it feels like power pro and how coarse it is which when it comes to fishing vegetation when it comes to fishing cover you kind of want that 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 coarse texture tends to shred vegetation off the line when you, when you go like that See if you're fishing a spinnerbait or a jig. That way you're not balled up with vegetation down the line. And there's something to be said about some of the more coarsely woven braids that have more peaks and valleys that when they do come across a piece of structure that is more abrasive to a polyethylene line or a braided line, only the peaks are being impacted. So it's, it's tough to tell if it actually makes a, a true difference when you're fishing. Science says you'll have more remaining strands that are in the valleys to give you your, you know, total strength of the line after the compromised lines are severed. So, yeah. <laughs> but I, I never really noticed that. So when they say more abrasion resistant, it's, it's all the same fiber, relatively speaking. It's just how many are protected due to the weave. So when you do have those compromised fibers, you have some more in it uh, left over that aren't fully severed when it comes up against, you know, a, a rock, a concrete. Well, river rock doesn't really do much, but like concrete, rubble, and that kind of stuff. But if you come across something like the edge of a zebra mussel or something like that, it's just going to sever the line, no matter the weave. So yeah, it's an expensive line. I think it's about 70 bucks for 300 yards, 35 for 150. Uh, can't tell much from the first day on the water other than what you're seeing here. Uh, I'll be using this for frogging. I'll be using this for some you know, heavy grass, heavy vegetation. 
and uh, if there's anything of note to work to report back you know I will all right guys until next time thanks for joining me hope you guys enjoyed this this was planned to be a quickie just want to get a couple casts and get an idea of what this stuff handles like when you're on the water take care guys mm -hmm.